Widespread flooding around the city has residents and authorities on high alert. Heavy, persistent rain is causing havoc for motorists, with many roads underwater. Dozens of streets are closed, and detours are in place where possible. The flooding's already left one Dunedin resident out of pocket, with his driveway destroyed. The, the, the amount of damage that's done to the driveway is just phenomenal. Uh, we, we've lost half our driveway, which we, we um, gravelled probably about a year ago. Spent about almost $1,000 actually getting both sides done. Valley says the flooding's due to an overflowing culvert near his house. He's expecting repairs to cost around $1,000. And he's blaming the city council for not properly maintaining the area. Because we own this section and the section beside it, and there's actually a road, even though it's not actually, there's no road sign, um, called Paper Road, which the council uh, owns, n not, not us. Um, and at, at that time, the, 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 the guy at the council said that um, it's, it's, not, it's not our problem. Police are urging residents to avoid travelling unless it's absolutely necessary. At least one local school has been evacuated. Firefighters from every station are being called out to flooding related incidents and civil defence officers are on standby. The city had more than 70 mils of rain by one o'clock and the Met Service predicts just as much to fall this evening. A heavy rain warning's in place until 2am, meaning locals battling the flood aren't done yet. David DeLorean, 39, Dunedin News.